Welcome back to our Snake and Espresso, a podcast where we sometimes drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. And sometimes we do weird dances with our hands. It is late at night, and I have had coffee. Yep. And it has hit my bloodstream. So you also know the drill. Blink. We uh, react to trivium videos here. Mm-hmm. So here's a new one. Can I tell you an unmetal confession? Sure. <laughs> Don't look so dismayed at me. <laughs> you listen to stuff that's not metal? Yes. Oh, um, you're a fake. You know how the other night you were like, I'm so tired. I'm going to go to sleep. And I was like, I'm not even a little bit tired. I'm going to stay up and watch YouTube. Yeah. I stayed up and I listened to the entire the entire Harry Styles album. <laughs> album review right there. Album review. Fine line from Harry Styles is... Stellar pop music. <laughs> okay. So you also know the drill. Blink. We uh, react to trivium videos here. Mm-hmm. So here's a new one. Um, <laughs> a new we, old one. A new old one. Yeah, we're going to take it way back with this. Um, actually, one of our viewers, Cadet Boss, had um, put together a list of suggestions. of A um, very well thought out list of suggestions, yeah, of by sort of the, the way. The best, uh, in their opinion, of course, um, but the best three songs from each album to listen to. Um, and so we're going to start going through some of those albums and just listening to everything, see how um, musically it's progressed Don't. over the last 150 years that they've been around. So <laughs> That we've been unaware of until four weeks ago. Exactly. So let's get into it. Um, this first one is... Embers to Inferno Title from track. their album, Embers to Inferno. <laughs> yep, and it has a music video, so we're reacting to so this one first. So we're going to watch it. All right, let's and- go react um okay so first off it only has fifteen thousand views Whoa. on it. Oh, okay um, so we are not the only people who don't go way unless back this isn't the actual we'll scroll down who posted okay. it look not all the way scroll up Where? there official music video well that you can put official music video in any title of any youtube video the internet you want. doesn't lie it never lies true abraham lincoln said so this is the official video oh no god i'm dumb right there haster sound it has 35 subscribers. This isn't the actual official find, video. I wonder if we can find it on there. We can find it. Okay, yeah. So welcome back. We found that we have no idea if that was an actual music video or not. Um, because even though it said official music video, it was not posted by Trivium. So it might have been, but we're just going to listen to the music. because it took us like 18 minutes to it get took it us all w- way squared too, away. But way too long. We are um, here. We are ready. Without further ado, Ember to Inferno. Um Let's see how this goes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So obviously the vocals are way more raw. Yes. Um, they are not nearly as developed as they are on this last no, CD. In 2020. Right? Um, but I really like it. Yes. Um, this has a very metalcore vibe, mm-hmm. um, very underground vibe as well. Um, so It reminds me of the music you listen to. Yeah. Like the stuff that was always playing in your car. In a good way. Yes, in a very good way. But completely different sound. Let's keep going. <laughs> No, so this uh, this is super similar to, to what I used to listen to, mm-hmm. um, for sure, or still listen to sometimes. Um, but it does. It, it just sounds very similar to a lot of stuff that was out around that same time. Well, and it seems dumb to say, but, you know, it has a very, like, early 2000s sound. Like, this was released in 2003. No, it's... Some of our favorite metal, mine and yours, has mm-hmm. come from the early 2000s. Definitely. I would say 2000 to, like, 2007, yeah. 8-ish. Um but I mean, pretty generic guitar riffs, pretty generic. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit it's predictable, still good. not bad. Doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. It's predictable. Oh, no, not at all. Just not, not, not what, what we're they're used doing to. Right now. Well, and of course, like Alex Bent, for instance, wasn't until two CDs ago or two albums ago now. I, um, I think it was so. the, yeah. So I think he's been on for two albums now. Um, I don't know how long their bassist, Paulo, Polo? 
Aolo. Aolo has been around. Um, but I haven't heard anything that screams at me yet, but we're also only 41 seconds in, so... I see why this was on his like, well, you have to listen to this. Yes. Absolutely. Like truly. Um, yeah. He's obviously had a lot of voice lessons since then. Yes. Um, yeah. And he's matured into his sound a lot. Matt has. But and- I like it because you can hear. I mean, there are people who take voice lessons who then sound very, very different to what they did before. They had a mm-hmm. actual vocal coach. Mm-hmm. And I like that I can still hear. Like him. Mm-hmm. From what, from like what the dead men say to Ember Inferno, I still mm-hmm. hear. He still sounds like yes, the same. He still sounds like yeah. himself. His voice is refined, and it is um, like he has he has mastered vocals yeah, for sure. Here you can tell it's still very raw. It's very like yeah. I mean, it's untrained, yeah. and there's nothing bad with untrained vocals. They usually have a really yeah. a really unique sound. Yep. And so I, I'm loving hearing this. Definitely. to stop it really quick um so his screaming is still really good Mm -hmm. like it's still really good and i can't tell if it might just be um better production as well Mm -hmm. um but i feel like even back in this early version of his scream it's still a really good scream yes so Yeah, see, he's still hitting yes. the the range on the screen. Um, I love this kind of chaotic, like drum versus guitar sound. Mm-hmm. It, it's stressful, it, kind of, but it's a little bit of a battle. Yeah, it is yeah. a battle, and I really like how it fits. It works well. Yeah, the offbeat. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. would have been so fun to mosh too oh for sure this would have been so also, fun to mosh i'm too. also feeling like um his style i don't mm-hmm. know i don't know if he writes a, a lot of the songs musically you know not just mm-hmm. like the lyrics um but if he um is responsible for a lot of the the song itself mm-hmm. um, so a lot of times the lead vocalist or the front man of mm-hmm. the band also has a lot to say with how the song itself sounds musically mm-hmm. even though yes. each individual artist is responsible for writing their 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 riffs and everything um but it gives me still the same sort of feel because it's a multifaceted song there's a little bit of everything there's a breakdown in between and i feel like there's two or three different parts of the song um very similar to amongst the shadows and the stones yes right um and i feel like you can kind of see that so i don't know how much of that is matt on this Mm -hmm. um on this track itself i know this is 
when he was very young, right? He was still in like high school in this yeah. album. Um, so I don't know how much of an influence he had, but you can definitely yeah, tell so that it's still sounds. Yeah, so would he have been 16 sounds. here, 2003? Because he joined in like 99, 2000 at 13. So yeah. He would be about 16 years old. First of all, vocals like this on a 16-year-old, like dang. That's good. Dang. That's good. Yeah, no, mad, uh, mad props there. Yeah. All right, let's finish this one Tally up. Tally ho. Oh, no, we both did it. Right off the bat, I can't help but think like the garage band kids that I knew 2003 to 2008 were not putting out music. Not like nearly as good as this. All. Not nearly um, as good. Um, vocals were not as good. I mean, we'll talk about it in a different video another mm -hmm. time, but there is a woman who trains metal vocalists on how to scream without destroying I still their need to cords. actually watch that. She's adorable. She's like a thousand years old. Yeah. And, um, because this type of vocalizing can completely destroy vocal cords. Mm -hmm. And I, I know a lot of people who in the early completely 2000s blew out, their blew out their vocal cords. Um, and to hear his ability at 16 years old yeah. with, I'm assuming, minimal vocal training. Because what 16-year-old can be like... Mom, Dad, can you find me a vocal coach who can teach me how to death right. scream without destroying my voice? There's not a lot out there. There's um, not a lot out there. And so hearing his talent already yeah, and then hearing what we've heard from what the Dead Men say from their latest album, yep. um, hearing just that, uh, the growth and the... the I, was, I was expecting something a lot more raw. I was too. Um, I was expecting... A lot more. Way more underground, way more and garage sound. Way, I mean, how many times did you have friends in the 2000s who were like, hey, I, like, here's this CD. It has three songs on it. Mm -hmm. We've recorded it all in my dad's basement or in my yeah. dad's garage or in my cousin's barn. Like, and you yeah. can tell it's I recorded mean, in those places off like a cassette. Right. Like the, the freaking, uh, like the boom boxes that had the cassette that <laughs> right. you could record <laughs> like at a the mic, same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah no and that's what i expected so, here and production level is is good yeah um but it's not incredible it's not like a full um but also compared to other metal music released in 2003 there, yeah i would i would say about half of it was along the same sort of production yeah. lines right um there wasn't a whole lot of labels out there that were really giving their people the quality production that you needed um right. so yeah this is good um for a freshman album um this is yeah, this is and the really title incredible. Track off the um, album. I was expecting a whole lot worse, um, and and I like this song. Yeah, I like it a lot. Do you want to go through the lyrics really sure. quick? Yeah. So I should have my glasses on. You do not. Uh, this was released on October fourteenth, two thousand three, uh, on Life Force Records. Awesome. Okay, in birth, just an ember, a spark of creation towards Genesis, with vision of dominion and godliness, with vision of godliness. Um, <laughs> it will take all you have held in evolution's design. It will burn up all obstacles, changing opposition to car to a carnal ash with vision godliness. It will take you all you have. It, mm, it will take all you have held sacred with vision godliness. Stay here till the windows stop burning for your dreams. Stay here till the windows stop burning for, I'm assuming for you says for your but i'm unless it was a part where um there's like an echo yeah okay maybe yeah from ember to inferno from ember to inferno in birth just an ember a spark of creation towards genesis with vision of dominion and godliness with vision of godliness it will take all you have held sacred with vision godliness 
Sacred in evolution's design, it will burn up all obstacles, changing opposition to a carnal ash. With vision godliness, it will take all you have held sacred with vision godliness. Lyrically, it is very 2003 metal music. It is. Um, yeah, I don't know if he wrote all of it. Yeah. Um, I think I, I heard somebody say that he he wrote the lyrics to, to like everything um, that they've done. Um, and that was something that I was actually really excited mm-hmm. to see is lyrically how far has he come. Um, I mean, this is good. It sounds badass, the whole deal, you know. Um, well, but I think it's... especially in, t- in the 2000s, you had so many bands coming up and just like hitting it so big. Mm-hmm. Um you kind of you wanted to make music that meant something obviously you're making music because it means something Mm -hmm. to you but you also want to make music that (laughs) sounds badass yeah and i do think there's words in this song in particular like major trigger words like inferno like it sounds hardcore you know um carnal ash sounds hardcore um well and even the little bit of repetition and birth uh in birth so the beginning a spark of creation, the beginning, Genesis, the beginning. Right. Um, So there's a little bit of repetition. Um, I definitely think lyrically he has become much more elaborate with his, uh, he's definitely gotten better at writing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Way better writing. Not that there's anything wrong with this, Um, but it is just very 2003, but but it's, it's not, it's not at the level of what they're they're doing right now. And it's, so that's really cool to see. Um, It's cool to see. Yeah. Where they started. I would love to hear the stuff they were making from 2000 to 2003. mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. I would have listened to this. Um, I definitely would have listened to this. I don't, I don't know if um, I'd listened to the whole CD yet, but I would have listened to this um, a few times. I'd have, I'd have the CD for sure. And I would put it on a few times, but it wouldn't have been one of, it would have been a burned copy of the CD. Oh yeah. Written in Sharpie. 100%. Probably. Probably. 100%. Probably. But the sound of the song itself reminded me of the same, like, the same style of bands that they had play every summer Mm -hmm. at what was that concert series they did every summer at wherever you worked. Oh, Cliffs? Cliffs. Yeah. What was that? Good old Cliffs Amusement Park. Um, Freedom Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Because they had these bands that were famous-ish. But obviously not so famous that they couldn't afford to have them in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Um, there were some that were really good. There were some. I mean, this. Yeah, this reminds me of early like Project Eighty Six or East West. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. This was. I'm fun. excited uh, to listen to the rest of it. Me too. All right. Well. All of the links to all of our other stuff is in the description box below. Yep. If you liked what you saw, smash that like button. Smash like. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when we post. We're trying to post a few times a week consistently. Um, that's yet to happen. But Quasi-consistently. Who knows, who knows what the future More holds. More stuff is coming your way.